Hello again, this is RDG2625 and on this video I'm gonna show you how to recalibrate another chronograph, another movement. Uh, this time we're gonna recalibrate a Swiss ERA G10 movement. This is a little easier than the 5040D um, and again um, I positioned the hands like this in order for you to view all the hands, um, I'm gonna use this um, iForce Master Chronograph. Now the layout on this chronograph is a little different than the 5040D because you have your running seconds hand at the six o'clock position instead of at the three o'clock position. So right there, that's your seconds hand for the chronograph that would be your tenth of a second and that is your 30 minute totalizer you can see from my last video that uh, the layout of the chronograph is a little different and don't mind about this crown that's nothing to do that's just uh, an inner rotating vessel and well here we go now for the G10 this is how you recalibrate the the hands. So all we gotta do first is um, pull the crown to the first position. There we go. Now, in order to recalibrate the big hand, the seconds, we gotta press the bottom pusher. One and two. And now to recalibrate the other hand we press the top pusher let me move this out of the way there we go now I'm going back to the second click see so for recalibrating the big second hand is your bottom pusher you can again press as many times or just press and hold and do, uh, it'll do a quick sweep now for the tenth of a second it is the top pusher There we go. Now in order to reset the um, 30 minute totalizer, we gotta pull the crown to the last stop, the last click. And there we use a top pusher. There we go. And now we just pull, push the crown all the way in and now the chronograph should work fine now notice on this movement that the tenth of a second doesn't spin around like on the 5040D that's because this movement is made this way to reserve your battery but when you press the stop or the pause the hand shows you the tenth of a second and when you press the start button again it'll go back to ten and it keeps counting time and then pause and then start again and when you reset Well, actually you have to press the top pusher and then you reset and all your hands should line up so that's how you reset an ERA G10 movement 